How's it going? This is Joe. I have another channel called Joe and Tell where I review audio products. I've just gotten into mechanical keyboards and so I've made this new channel where I'm learning about this stuff. So I'm still very new to this. I have a few keyboards already um, but this one I just purchased recently because it's so inexpensive. This one is 25 bucks I think I got it for and the cool thing about this is that you know it has a lot of good features that you know you'd want in more expensive boards I mean believe me this is not premium by any stretch of the word but it is hot swappable so there's a lot of things you can do to modify this and just have fun with it I mean that's really my goal with this is to have fun with this particular one and see how good I can make it so this is how it sounds right I've made a uh, a video with a sound demo of just this and yeah I learned a few things because I actually did another video where I compared this with the other keyboard that I have which is this mode 80 first edition awesome thank you mode that's how that sounds and this is how this one sounds A little bit different right so I want to see how close I can get this to sounding somewhat like this I doubt it's gonna I mean look at this thing look at this ridiculous so um, yeah this one's also 650 bucks and you have to get your own keycaps and this one is 25 bucks so there you go um, and this one has lighting let me go ahead and put this back so uh, let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what we can modify in this. I see one screw hidden here. Now if you're listening to this, you're going to get the best possible sound if you wear headphones because this is a different type of recording. My keycap puller here. Bust out all my tools. So Ken is the guy who recommended this to me and he recommended this one specifically to me and to a lot of people on Discord. And um, yeah, shout out to him. He already did a uh, unboxing and, and kind of went through the details of this. But it does have this foam, case foam here. Uh, oh, I don't know that this makes very much of a difference. We should actually just measure it. We're going to try to keep everything as yeah, scientific as possible you know this is not controlled but better than nothing so let me go ahead and just do a comparison just like that with and without foam here it is with the foam installed Save that measurement. Go ahead and remove the case foam. Put that back in. And let's see if we can hear an audible or measurable difference. Here we go. Okay, so that looks like, uh, let's see here, that it was louder with a case foam. Let's see if we can replicate that or if it was just a fluke. Okay, let me try to do the same exact experiment and try not to move this as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep this exactly in the same place. There we go. Actually, I'm just always going to hit the same keys, just, just these. Try not to move this. Okay. 
Okay, so surprisingly, let's see. So the two case foams, see if we're seeing anything relevant here. Um, versus no case foam, let's see if there's a drastic difference between these two measurements. Yeah, the second one was louder. If I apply some smoothing to all these, psychoacoustic smoothing, I mean, there are differences, but I'm not sure if it's the difference in how I press the keys. I'm my best not to move this. So what does that do? It reduces the internal volume. I doubt that these frequencies are low enough for that to affect it acoustically, but maybe reducing some resonances. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's heavy enough or touching enough surfaces to do that. And the question is not whether there's a difference because there is a difference. The question is whether it was caused by my inconsistency or just a variation that might not make a huge difference in the whole scheme of things. So taking an average of all of them, yeah, I'm not sure that that's a significant difference. I'm going to have to do some more testing with other modifications to see if there are other mods that make a bigger difference. But for now, this is what I'm seeing as far as the case, fo case foam versus no case foam. Um, having the case foam in there seems to lift the higher frequencies, maybe some of these lower frequencies. Certain frequencies are, are boosted, most notably the highest end and the lowest end. Um, but again, not sure if that's variation due to my typing. All right, so a few things, quick things. Um, after listening to this, sounds pretty good. A little bit of a different sound than what I'm used to. Uh, higher pitch, and I think part of that is the keycaps. So just to give you an idea, I'll show you with some thicker PBT keycaps. I'm not sure if these are PBT, they're just very thin. So go ahead and put these in and show you on the RTA as well to give you an idea of the sound differences. So let me move this over slightly. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so these are the stock keycaps after all the mods. And if you don't like that higher pitch, you can use some PBT keycaps and that should lower the pitch a little bit. Let's see. All right. So as you can tell with all these mods, it really brings out the sound of the actual keycaps and the, the switches themselves. So you can take a look. So there's the left versus the right hand side with the PVT keycaps. And so just uh, more bass coming through. I wonder if that has to do with just being centered here. Not sure. Looks like it's measuring more bass coming through. So these frequencies here. Um, and this is very interesting in the mid range. But these have this high, high peak here. Uh, let's see if that was in the original. Yeah, it was still there. It just, um, all these mods kind of took out this region here. Uh, again, with this bass, like I was saying, I think it would be very helpful to have uh, a thick foam. So just as an example here, here's a thick foam so that it doesn't transfer down into the desk. So here we go. RTA, all of changes added, adding this phone. So here we go. So much cleaner sound as you can see there. So you can see here in the base. So this base is caused by the energy transfer down 
So by decoupling it, you remove all that and all you hear is this upper part which makes it sound much cleaner. Okay, so we'll keep it like that for right now. Um, a few other changes that I would like to make and let's just take some measurements of, actually, let me take some measurements of uh, the space bar here. All right, so that's a space bar. Let's do backspace. And then let's just do enter. So yeah, you can definitely tell that those sound very different from when we first tried it out. So one thing I don't like is I think that this does what the Keychron does, which is the switch touches the bottom of this instead of bottoming out. And so what you're actually hearing is this hitting the actual switch. So let's try this other space bar here. This is a thicker PBT and you can tell it sounds different already. So let's compare these. So space bar prior and then with this space bar, let's see how this one sounds. Here we go. So what do we see here? The PBT spacebar has less of these higher frequencies. So unless it gets stuck, I prefer the sound of this. Okay, so what I find interesting is the combination of the sounds of the main keys with the backspace to enter into this. So, gotta make music, you know? Okay, so, and then the last thing, just to make it look nice, is uh, let's see here. Let's take out this enter, put something from the milk and honey. Add a little bit of a look to it. And I think that's it. So let's end it with a final sound test and we'll go and compare this with how it sounded before. Okay, taking a quick look at the comparison of the, th the ones that we just checked out. So stock, on two. Okay, so you can see the difference in the sound. It increased the amount of mid-range frequencies here. And the rest kind of just stayed the same. So it seems like, you know, that it is, you know, much deeper in tone but it actually has the same high frequencies, just more of the mid-range frequencies. This is what it sounds like with the foam underneath, much less of that base area. 
Very interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how this sounds in comparison to my reference, which is the mode. So that's with the foam underneath and the mode 80 on the table. Huh. So off the table. Uh, it's getting very similar to the tonality of the mode 80. So the mode 80, the one thing I noticed is it has a very clean sound. And now this too also has a clean sound. So I'm happy. This was a fun build and hopefully you guys learned something with me.